Lockers are a familiar sight in high school corridors, gym changing rooms, and many workplaces. And in the world of professional sports, lockers are the backdrop to many a post-game interview. The latest trend is buying lockers for kids' bedrooms as cool and practical storage furniture. While they vary in size and design, all lockers have ventilation holes. These help air circulate, which prevents odors. Lockers are made of a hard type of steel that's just flexible enough for presses to bend to the required shape. The steel sheets are 2.5 millimeters thick. Workers feed one at a time through a cutting tool called a square shear. It slices from one end of the sheet to the other, cutting pieces with the required width. Each door piece goes into a 100-ton punch press, which stamps out the ventilation holes. The next press punches screw and rivet holes around the edges and a hole for the cup that houses the locker's closure. The first bending press folds over the top and bottom edges, forming flanges. This bend sets the finished height of the door. The next bend sets the finished width of the door. The press folds the side edges over twice, forming a box-shaped rim. Next, workers position a steel reinforcement panel against the hinge side of the door. They affix one side of the panel using a welding machine that fuses 12 spots simultaneously. Then they weld the other side manually. Now they mount the door in an alignment fixture, hinge side up and clamp a piano hinge to the edge. They fuse the hinge to the door by welding it to the top row of screw holes. Meanwhile, they've bent pieces of steel to form the locker's top, bottom, back and sides. Now they weld those parts together. Then they weld the hasp, the steel loop through which you hook a padlock to lock the locker. The hasp goes on the edge of the body and protrudes through a slot in the closure cup in the door. Next, the locker's interior shelf. They set four rivets onto a positioning fixture, two in the center, two on the edge, then position the shelf on top, aligning the shelf's four holes with the four rivets. They position a single hook over each edge rivet and weld it on. Then they take a double hook and position it over the two center rivets. Then weld that on. Then they weld the shelf into the locker body. All the parts now head into the factory's paint shop. The powder paint they use for this model contains electrically charged silver particles, a natural disinfectant that kills any bacteria, viruses and fungi on the locker surface. Once coated, the parts go into an oven for a half hour to bake the paint. Then final assembly begins. First, workers mount the closure cup in the door hole with a screw and a retaining washer. Next, they install magnetic catches to hold the door closed. And apply an adhesive sticker indicating this locker has an antimicrobial paint coating. Then they attach the door to the body by driving rivets through the lower row of holes on the piano hinge. They make sure the door moves smoothly and that the hasp aligns with the slot in the cup. The factory makes lockers of various sizes, shapes and configurations. Some models 
even have built-in combination locks.